right, it's a report going out there. Um, I'm just going to call it a report that Zion Williamson knee surgery is not covered by his medical insurance until 90 days into the season. Therefore, he has to pay 15000 for his torn meniscus surgery. Let's talk about it. We back. Good for sports TV. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And um, I, I'm thinking like shit, he been with the Pelicans since summer league, but they said 90 days into the uh, season in H in the uh, human resource for the Pelicans said that they can't be paying for surgeries um, for, you know, players that just want to use the Pelicans for surgeries and not want to, you know, actually get a career. And obviously Zion don't fit that, that bill. And it's also in this uh, onion report is saying that, that, um, that Zion going to be docked money because he's going to be missing time with the physical therapist, with the team, I guess, resting his injury. So, uh, not a good start to his career. Um, and they should have probably left that, you know, private if this story is true. But, hey, 15000 ain't really nothing to him right now. He signed a major Mike, Nike deal as well. But it's crazy. Even in the NBA, you got to have 90 days in. Now, there's some places I don't work since day one. You get insurance. So, I'm, I'm surprised if this is true, the NBA not giving insurance. But that probably keep insurance costs down for paying for, like, surgeries that don't matter with guys with non-guaranteed contracts. You know what I'm saying? They get it with the team and they injure and, and or they just you say they injure whatever and they want to get surgeries before they get cut. That's probably where they put a 90 day period for guys with non guaranteed contracts and that come up from the G League to keep their insurance down. But this America is what it boiled down to. Not even Zion Williamson in the NBA got medical insurance, you know, if this is true. You know, but he got it though, you know. Uh, you know, Shannon Sharp was talking about on Undisputed one day, you know, they don't have lifetime benefits. So when you retire from the NFL, you got to pay for your own medical coverage. He said he paid like, what, 25000 a year for medical coverage. And you paying for a multi-billion dollar business per year, 25000 for per for private medical insurance. You know, when the NFL should take care of that. You know, the players don't, if the, if, if the players want to be suing for CT and head, concussions if they had medical coverage for the nfl that just shows you how greedy some of these you know corporations and leagues are but um you know fifteen thousand ain't nothing to zion though not right now what he getting from jordan and what he getting from the pelican steel but it's a cold world out here man it's a cold world even on the multi-billion dollar or tri billion dollar level it's a cold world and you know in the report as well they said he should be careful because they don't really, uh, uh, you know, cover knees or something. They were saying you got to read the report. I linked the article in the description. Something about how knees ain't really a primary thing with the physician or something they were saying. So at the end of the day, you know, his career ain't getting off to a good start. But, you know, you know, every story don't start off like a fairy, a fairy, uh, a fairy tale. But, you know, for him to have to come out of pocket fifteen thousand. You know, the team should be able to cover that or his insurance should be able to cover that. But, you know, just just what we living in, like, you know, every day, every other country, they, they got insurance. Well, in Canada, they got insurance. Everybody got insurance. It's built into the taxpayers, um, you know, what they pay. But I find this kind of shocking. I'm hoping I'm hoping this ain't true, but it is what it is, man. And he got to take care of himself better, to be honest. He got to lose the weight, and they should think about shutting him down for the year. I do. I do think they're going to struggle without him. Lonzo had a disappointing debut. Ingram played very well, but I do think they're going to struggle uh, without him. But, you know, at the end of the day, one knee injury leads to another in knee injury. I think they need to go ahead and let Zion rest. Um, I, w I will hold him out because he's going to miss the rest of this year, basically. You know, he's going to miss Christmas and all that. They got all these national televised games off Zion. I would just hold them out like Blake Griffin, uh, Ben Simmons, Joel Embiid. I'll let him get healthy. And not even just getting healthy. I would I would have him lose that weight. That I would have him working on his body his first year, just getting that weight down, testing his blood, and lit, knowing what's a good weight for him to, to move around that and still feel strong. But, hey, uh, it's 
Goodfella Sports TV. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email if you got business questions, inquiry, sponsorship, video requests. Keep sharing the videos. Appreciate the love, support. Want to make a donation? That link's in the description. I'm going to link the article link in the tr uh, description. I'm going to just call it reportedly. But it's sad, but it ain't like he ain't got 15 bands. He wiped his ass with that right now. Um, let me know what you guys think about the story. And um, check out our 